Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. We got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead, turn on those notification bells. And yeah, we'll hop in in here. Uh, getting a later start today. I woke up late. So uh, yeah, this first matchup, uh, it's going to be, the video's going to be out, you know, way after this is uh, going on. But still fight through it here. Uh, busy slate today, starting with the Chicago White Sox versus the Cleveland Guardians. Cleveland opening up as home favorites at minus 145. The White Sox plus 125 with the over-under at 9. White Sox coming into this matchup 44-68. and 68. The Guardians 54-57. and 57. Pitching for the White Sox is Jesse Schultens with an ERA of 3.07. Pitching for the Guardians is Xavion Curry with an ERA of 2.90. Schultens, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up one run at six strikeouts. Curry, his last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up one run at zero strikeouts. The White Sox uh, coming off a of Cleveland win yesterday, 7-4. Nice uh, underdog win for them. Uh, Cleveland, you know, they've been struggling here. Both teams struggling. Both teams struggling. White Sox are one and seven on the road. They're not playing that great. Um, Curry's been very good on the mound his last three starts, only giving up two runs here. I like the Guardians to bounce back today, and uh, I'm gonna take Cleveland at home. Next matchup, we got the Houston Astros versus the New York Yankees. Yankees opening up as home favorites at minus 125. Houston plus 115 with the over under at nine. Houston coming into this matchup 63 and 49. The Yankees 58 and 53. Pitching for the Astros is Jose Urquidy with an ERA of 5.20. Pitching for the Yankees is Carlos Rodon with an ERA of 6.29. Urquidy, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs at three strikeouts. Rodon, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up four runs. Had five strikeouts. Houston losing to the Yankees yesterday, three to one. Uh, Yankees, nice underdog win. They've won two out of the last three games against Houston here. Even though Houston is eight and two straight up against the Yankees, um, yeah, you're looking at a pretty even pitching matchup, I'd say. And um, I think I'm gonna take the Astros plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the New York Mets versus the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore opening up as home favorites at minus 200. The Mets plus 170 with the over-under at 8.5. Mets coming into this matchup 50 and 60. Baltimore 69 and 42. Pitching for the Mets is Jose Quintana with an ERA of 3.57. Pitching for Baltimore is Kyle Bradish with an ERA of 3.32. Quintana. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. Bradish, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up three runs, had seven strikeouts. The Mets on a five-game losing streak right now, losing to Baltimore back-to-back -back days. Uh, Baltimore has looked good in this series so far. Mets are 0-6 on the road, just not playing well here, and uh, I'm going to take the Orioles at home. Next matchup, we got the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Boston Red Sox. Boston opening up as home favorites at minus 110. Toronto plus 100 with the over-under at 10. Toronto coming into this matchup 62-50. and 50. Boston 57-53. and 53. Pitching for Toronto is Chris Bassett with an ERA of 4.0. Pitching for the Red Sox is Brennan Bernardino with an ERA of 2.72. Bassett, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had seven strikeouts. Bernardino, his last start, he pitched one inning, gave up one run, had two strikeouts. Uh, Toronto, back-to-back -back wins against Boston here. They've played well in this series so far. Uh, despite them not being very good against Boston, they are 10-4 and four on the road against Boston here. Still getting underdog value, and um, yeah, I'm going to take Toronto plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Kansas City Royals versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies opening up as home favorites at minus 200. 
The Royals plus 180 with the over under at nine and a half. Royals coming into this matchup 36 and 76. The Phillies 60 and 51. Pitching for the Royals is Zach Granke with an ERA of 5.32. Pitching for the Phillies is Taiwan Walker with an ERA of 3.99. Granke, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had three strikeouts. Walker, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. The Royals uh, losing to the Phillies yesterday, 9-6. Nice comeback win for the Phillies after losing that prior game. Uh, the Royals 3-13 on the road. You know, just not a good road team here. Granky 1-11 just has not been able to get wins here. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to roll with the Phillies at home in this one. Next matchup, we've got the Washington Nationals versus the Cincinnati Reds. Reds opening up as home favorites at minus 155. Washington plus 140 with the over under at 10 and a half. Washington coming into this matchup 48 and 63. The Reds 59 and 54. Pitching for the Nationals is Jake Irvin with an ERA of 4.86. Pitching for the Reds is Leon Richardson with an ERA of zero. Irvin, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had two strikeouts. Richardson looks like he's making his uh, first start on the mound here for the Reds. Washington on a three-game winning streak, back-to-back -back wins against the Reds. Thought this would be a series that the Reds would take advantage of. Clearly, that's not happening. Reds on a five-game losing streak right now. Uh, Washington 5-0 and on the road against Cincinnati. Yeah, thought the Reds would be able to take advantage here. And I uh, think I'm going to roll with the Nationals plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Detroit Tigers. Rays opening up as road favorites at minus 200. Detroit plus 175 with the over under at 8. Rays coming into this matchup 67 and 46. Detroit 49 and 61. Pitching for the Rays is Tyler Glasnow with an ERA of 3.15. Pitching for Detroit is Matt Manning with an ERA of 4.53. Lies now. His last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run, had eight strikeouts. Manning, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had six strikeouts. The Rays coming off a Detroit loss uh, yesterday, four to two. You know, they've been dominant against Detroit, five and one against Detroit here. Uh, Glass now been very good on the mound here. Manning coming off two stuff, two rough starts here for Detroit. I like the Rays to bounce back, and uh, I'm going to take Tampa Bay on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Brewers opening up as home favorites at minus 200. The Pirates plus 170 with the over-under at 8. Pirates coming into this matchup 49-61. and 61. The Brewers 60-52. and 52. Pitching for the Pirates is Johan Oviedo with an ERA 4.42. Pitching for the Brewers is Brandon Woodruff with an ERA of 0 0.79. Oviedo, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run, had five strikeouts. Woodruff, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, and four strikeouts. The Pirates losing to the Brewers yesterday, uh, three to two. Uh, Brewers, you know, playing well in the series, winning two out of the last three. Pirates are just 1-6 on the road against Milwaukee, where they have struggled. Uh, Woodruff coming off two really good starts on the mound here for the Brewers. And uh, I think I'm going to take the Brewers at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Minnesota Twins. Arizona opening up as road favorites at minus 145. The Twins plus 130 with the over-under at 8.5. Arizona coming into this matchup 57 and 55. The Twins 58 and 54. Pitching for Arizona is Zach Gallen with an ERA of 3.41. Pitching for the Twins is Dallas Kuchel with an ERA of 0. Gallen, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had six strikeouts. Kuchel, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up seven runs, had six strikeouts. Kuchel making his first start. Um, of the season here his last three games last year he gave up seven runs and three straight games here um 
not in love with that. Arizona is on a five-game losing streak. Back-to-back -back losses against Minnesota, losing 12-1 to yesterday. Been a rough stretch for Arizona here. Have not played well. Um, they're 0-7 on the road against Minnesota. 2-8 against Minnesota. Uh, you know, Zach Allen coming off some rougher starts on the mound here. But... Man, even if even with the twin with Cucho getting a start, who wasn't that good last year, it is a new year. Arizona playing very bad here. I think I would take a shot with the Twins plus one and a half at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Colorado Rockies versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals opening up as home favorites at minus two hundred. The Rockies plus one seventy with the over under at nine and a half. Rockies coming into this matchup forty three and sixty seven. The Cardinals 49 and 63. Pitching for the Rockies is Austin Gomber with an ERA of 5.68. Pitching for the Cardinals is Zach Thompson with an ERA of 4.76. Gomber, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Thompson only pitched once so far this season. He pitched five innings, gave up five runs, had two strikeouts, did not look good in his debut here. Colorado losing to St. Louis 6-2 yesterday. Um, yeah, I just don't like Thompson on the mound. Didn't look that great. Gomber, been, I mean, coming off a couple, two good starts on the mound. And uh, I think they're a good underdog here. I'll take Rockies plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Atlanta Braves versus the Chicago Cubs. Braves opening up as road favorites at minus 115. The Cubs plus 105 with the over-under at eight and a half. Braves coming into this matchup 70 and 38. The Cubs 57 and 54. Pitching for the Braves is Charlie Morton with an ERA of 3.62. Pitching for the Cubs is Justin Steele with an ERA of 3.03. .03. Morton, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had eight strikeouts. Steele, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had six strikeouts. Braves losing to the Cubs yesterday, eight to six. Um, I mean, both teams are playing very well right now. Um, kind of a tough one. Both pitchers giving up a good bit of runs here. Um, I'm still going to lean with the Braves here. In a, in a close pick -em scenario, I'm going to take Atlanta in this one. Next matchup, we got the Miami Marlins versus the Texas Rangers. Rangers opening up as home favorites at minus 130. Miami plus 115 with the over under at eight and a half. Miami coming into this matchup 58 and 54. The Rangers 65 and 46. Pitching for the Marlins is Sandy Alcantara with an ERA of 4.27. Pitching for the Rangers is Andrew Heaney with an ERA of 4.36. Sandy, his last start, he pitched eight innings, gave up zero runs, had five strikeouts. Heaney, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs, had 11 strikeouts. Miami on a three-game losing streak right now, coming off back-to-back -back Rangers losses. Rangers on a five-game winning streak. They're playing very well here. Uh, Miami 1-12 and on the road. Been terrible on the road here. Both pitchers coming off a zero-run game here, but uh, I just like the way the Rangers have been playing, and I'm going to take Texas at home. Next matchup, we got the Seattle Mariners versus the Los Angeles Angels. Angels opening up as home favorites at minus 125. The Mariners plus 115 with the over-under at 9.5. Seattle coming into this matchup 59-52. and 52. The Angels 56-56. and 56. Pitching for Seattle is Bryce Miller with an ERA of 4.35. Pitching for the Angels is Chase Silseth with an ERA of 3.99. Miller, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up six runs, had four strikeouts. Silseth, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had four strikeouts. Seattle on a four-game winning streak, three straight wins against the Angels. I mean, they've dominated this series, getting underdog value too, the way they've played. Um, I just think it's a steal. I know Miller's coming off two bad starts on the mound, but he hasn't been that bad this season. Um... I think that's why the line's in favor of the Angels here. And if Miller can have a decent game here, uh, yeah, I think I'll take Seattle plus one and a half on the road.
Next matchup, we got the San Francisco Giants versus the Oakland Athletics. Giants opening up as road favorites at minus 190. Oakland plus 170 with the over under at 8. Giants coming into this matchup 61 and 50. Oakland 31 and 80. Pitching for the Giants is Alex Cobb with an ERA of 3.05. Pitching for Oakland is Luis Medina with an ERA of 5.35. Cobb, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had four strikeouts. Medina, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. The Giants losing to Oakland yesterday, two to one. Disappointing loss for the Giants there. Um, you know, they've been pretty dominant against Oakland on the road and straight up here. And um, I'm still taking the Giants here. I'm not really trusting Oakland to pull back-to-back -back wins off. And uh, I'll take the Giants on the road here. And the last matchup, we got the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the San Diego Padres. Dodgers opening up as road favorites at minus 125. The Padres plus 105 with the over-under at 9.5. Dodgers coming into this matchup 63-46. and 46. The Padres 55 and 56. Pitching for the Dodgers is Lance Lynn with an ERA of 6.32. Pitching for the Padres is Rich Hill with an ERA of 4.84. Lynn, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up three runs, had seven strikeouts. Hill, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had seven strikeouts. Dodgers losing to the Padres yesterday, 8-3, to three, snapping their winning streak that they were on. The Dodgers, you know, they're 6-1 against the Padres. They've been very good here. Uh, Lynn hasn't been the greatest on the mound. Uh, hopefully starts playing better with the Dodgers. Hill coming off two pretty good starts on the mound for the Padres. I think Padres are a good underdog here, and uh, I'll take Padres plus 1.5 at home. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.